Hello, I hope you're all well and staying safe during these strange times. I'm Georgia, I'm going to be talking a bit about farming, agricultural productivity and the climate. So the agricultural sector can be studied using a systems approach, which views a process or series of processes such as farming or the carbon cycle as an assemblage of interrelated parts working together to achieve a common goal or goals. The farming system, like all systems, consists of inputs, processes and outputs. In this case, inputs include precipitation, land ownership, farm machinery, seeds, that sort of thing. Processes are actions such as harvest, harvesting crops, milk and cows and breeding livestock. The output is the produce itself, such as lettuce, carrots and wheat. Productivity is a key measure of economic performance and can be defined using a systems approach. In the farming system, where income is directly linked to productivity, it represents how efficiently the industry uses its resources to turn inputs into outputs. For example, the ratio of the grain yield in kilograms to the amount of hectares available. This is all well and good, but what about when you apply it to real life? What happens after the crops are harvested? This is where agri agricultural productivity starts to tie in with the climate. The most lucrative contracts for farmers often come from supermarkets and big transnational corporations. They have very stringent standards for the appearance of products, particularly crops. As a result, farmers have to drastically increase their productivity because many perfectly good crops have to be thrown away because they don't meet the aesthetic standards, meaning that more has to be grown overall in order to still meet their targets. This intensive farming harms the soil and makes it less sustainable, and the unnecessary waste has a detrimental impact to the climate as well. It's clear that although the agricultural sector is absolutely crucial in our society, the perception that consumers desire perfectly shiny apples or a specific size of strawberry has put a massive pressure on the farming system, and that's only talking about crop farming. Similar pressure is applied to livestock, and the vast amounts of beef we consume has a, had a real negative impact on methane quantities in the atmosphere. So what can be done to mitigate the impact of farming and consumerism on our climate? Increased pressure from the public on supermarkets has led, has led to the introduction of ugly fruit and veg ranges, where crops which are perfectly edible but less aesthetically pleasing are sold for lower prices. However, this accounts for a very small percentage of supermarket stock, stock and feels more like a publicity stunt than the true de de dedication to reducing the pressure on farmers and subsequently the environment. When it comes down to it, the best thing for supermarkets to do is to drastically relax their aesthetic standards for fruit and vegetables, whilst maintaining high taste and nutritional quality. From our position, we need to carry on demonstrating that we don't need perfect looking groceries and educating others about the impacts of commercial farming on the environment. We need to remember the impacts of education because it really is the so-called silver bullet. It is the one thing which can change our society completely from the inside and save our home from future generations. So yeah. This was a short introduction to the links between transnational corporations, agricultural productivity and the climate. Stay safe, take care and have a great day.